The cathedral is celebrating the centennial of its dedication, and they have rolled out a list of opportunities to help celebrate. Hello, I'm Father Rick Stansbury, and this is Linda Tron, and you are watching Cathedral News. Our top story is that the Cathedral of Our Lady of Perpetual Help in Oklahoma City has been gearing up to celebrate their centennial, and this month they unveiled their website with their list of activities calling all people to grow in holiness. The Cathedral recently revamped their mission and vision statements, and under their new directions, hope to call people to a greater devotion for the Eucharist. In light of this momentous celebration, they have come up with a number of activities, such as choral vespers, service opportunities like furnishing a tiny, tiny home for Pivot, volunteering with Sister BJ and Saturday Sandys. They also have community activities, like the Taste of Our Ladies, featuring a multicultural celebration embracing American, Vietnamese, and Hispanic cultures through food, the Elegant Table, Bishop John Carroll Cathedral School's musical and the Fall Festival. All these activities are aimed at drawing people to the cathedral and installing a greater devotion to our Blessed Mother. One of the things people are most excited about is the partnering of the cathedral and Bishop John Carroll Cathedral School for their inaugural summer camps aimed at providing formation to students throughout the summer. With us, we have Karen Tran on the scene with Antonio Guzman, the Director of Operations and Advancement for the cathedral and school to tell us more. Karen, can you hear us? Thank you, Linda. I'm here with Antonio, who will share a bit more about bringing fun, faith, and fellowship to students all summer long. I am very excited about the summer. A talented team of educators, volunteers, and high school leaders are being assembled to prepare students to have fun all while growing in their faith. All the camps have unique elements to them that reinforce different aspects of our Catholic faith. The camps are available for all incoming pre-K through outgoing fifth graders. We have a parishioner rate and a non-parishioner rate, but scholarships are available for everybody. Our camps are not intended to be for profit. Our goal is to have the kids have some fun, all while growing in their faith. Financially, our aim is just simply to break even. We invite everyone to visit our Bishop John Carroll website, which is bjccs.org slash summer camps to learn more about our camps. Thank you, Antonio. That sounds like a lot of fun this summer. Back to you at the studio, Linda. Thank you, Karen. That reporter looks amazingly familiar. She is beautiful and smart, isn't she? <laughs> <laughs> well, another thing that people are getting excited about is the visiting of 60 relics to the cathedral the week of June 23rd to 30th. A spokesperson said that the cathedral is really embracing calling people to holiness by providing examples of holiness, the saints, because all saints were first sinners, so we should learn from their example on how to be better people. Sounds like the cathedral has a lot going on. It really does. To get a full list of events in celebration of the cathedral's centennial dedication, visit their website, cathedralokc.org slash centennial. We will keep you posted on any development over this wonderful story. That is all that we have for you today on Cathedral News. I'm Linda Tran. And I'm Father Rick Stansbury.